humanity has already discovered the master equation of existence. It's Euler's formula, an extremely famous result in mathematics. Discovering an amazing formula and recognizing it for what it is are two drastically different things. Most people regard mathematics as an unreal, man-made abstraction. In fact, mathematics is real. It's concrete. It's what existence actually is. By Occam's razor, reality is made of the simplest, most universal building blocks, atoms, able to enter into the most protean relationships with each other. These are sinusoidal waves, hence Euler's formula. One full set of basis sinusoids, sines and cosines, which are orthogonal to each other, constitutes a mind. There are countless such minds, all interacting with each other, and the universe is produced from their interactions. A mind is a functional unit, monad, of existence. Although sinusoids are the building blocks of existence, each sinusoid belongs to a specific monadic mind. There are no free-floating sinusoids. Monadic minds are non-local, immaterial, dimensionless frequency domains. They are singularities, outside space and time. They all exist together in a singularity. These monadic minds are the unextended thinking substances proposed by Descartes. How do they create the dimensional, extended, space-time domain of matter? They do so via Fourier mathematics connecting the frequency domain and the space-time domain. This is the answer to the famous problem of Cartesian substance dualism and its notorious interaction problem. Descartes believed in a substance dualism of mind and matter, and then no one could work out how mind and matter could interact given that they had opposite definitions. Mind, after all, is unextended and matter extended. The solution is that mind is the real substance, true reality, primary reality, and it projects a secondary reality of spacetime, with which it interacts via forward and inverse Fourier transforms. So, there is no substance dualism. What there is is a dualistic mathematical monism, i.e., one mathematical core reality, of frequency equals mind, non-extension, projects a secondary mathematical domain, of spacetime equals matter, extension. This began as none other than the Big Bang. Because two domains now exist, it looks like a dualism when in fact it is a dualistic monism. There is only one mathematical reality, but it can appear in two different ways, as mind and matter. Descartes, a brilliant mathematician, intuited all of this, but the mathematics necessary to properly explain all of this did not exist in his day. It does now. This is a mathematical reality, not a scientific reality. Descartes and Leibniz got incredibly close to fully explaining everything but they lacked Euler's formula and Fourier mathematics. Unfortunately, science then fell under the spell of Newton, materialism and empiricism, and moved away from the mathematical idealism and rationalism of Descartes and Leibniz. Science now has to undergo a revolutionary paradigm shift and to become applied mathematics. Science must accept the ontology of mathematics. Scientists must accept that science is grounded in mathematics and has no reality separate from mathematics. That changes the whole nature of science. Science is currently for sensing types. It must become a subject for thinking types, using reason and logic, and with the principle of sufficient reason at the core of everything. That would entail the relegation of the scientific method to a secondary means of gaining knowledge about reality. The primary method would be the mathematical method.